Okay, so we'll do this first. I have no idea what's going to happen, but at least I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's go find him. I don't think I need a gun. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what made. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. So Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Me. Passing out drunk in front of old movies, screaming at boys I'm dating, freaking out when a cop car drives past. <laughs> I get it. I get it. So, um, why are we stopped? I wanted to finish that first. Purple car with the roof down. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Oh, well, now you just got to find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> Found this prick? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. You still okay. Back you around here? Ah. He's on you. Let's go. Oh, you wanna play? Fuck you, asshole. Shit. Fuck you, asshole. Ha ha. Wow, that was not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. We have to speak to him. Yeah, I just thought. Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk. Seriously, I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy. That's what being fucked in the ass feels like. How you like that? How do you know about that? Yes. 
Letting him go, right? He got the message. Yeah, I think he got the message. Let's just say it don't look like he's gonna turn up at your next fan club, AGM. The fan club's gone national. That's amazing PR, Pop. I might... Hey, stop it. Be careful next time. Would you mind if I leak this? Leaked what? I thought we had you potty trained two decades ago. Ew, I meant bleed it or something. No bleeder, no life invader, no whatever else you got. Being this public with your life is what got you into this situation. But it'll really boost my profile. You got creep stalking you. I'd say your profile is plenty boosted already. Glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. <laughs> okay, I don't think I got a car. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, there we go. I have no idea how to go out. Okay, go go steal a car. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I got the heist. Uh, we prepared with Lester and we got Solomon Richards. Hmm. Hmm. Door A or door B. Well, before the uh, family thing happened. Hey, what's up? Hi, darling. Oop, no car up here. No, I'm still around. Aha. Okay. Time to make tracks. Okay. Like I said, I wanted to do Solomon Richards first. Oh. If I'm correct, it's the last time we'll see Molly. Well, well, Trevor, it looks like it's not gonna, it's not going to work out. See you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. 
The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Uh. <laughs> Get to the airport, talk to him. That's it. Time to rice. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal anger. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. <sighs> okay, so now I just have to chase it down. So, where is she? Ah. Almost there. What's she doing? Well, first part, just chase her down. I'm not doing that. Okay, we're at rank two. Yeah, you probably should turn around. Bye-bye!
Well. Whoa! I'm on fire! 